Cassidy from Smith RV in Casper, Wyoming. I want to show you guys the 2023 Nash 26N. Let's start with the underbelly of this thing. Come on, let's go. All right, TJ, let me see this. All right, guys, here we are underneath the 2023 Nash 26N. So just want to show you how clean Northwood does their stuff. We have a nice cast iron uh, LP line running down the frame there. All tight and solid, little brackets here and there. Here we have our first holding tank up under here. I want you to really take notice of how smooth and how strong this is. So this is holding tank number one. But you'll look at a lot of these underbellies and all you're gonna see is droop of wrinkly uh, underbelly material. We go to our next tank. These tanks are individually enclosed and individually heated with what they call the foxhole, uh, keeping these holding tanks from freezing. And also very notable is you don't see any dump valves outside of the enclosed underbelly. So all of the holding tanks uh, dump valves are inside our uh, heated holding tank area. So also very notable on this, this is the off the grid uh, package um, from Northwood. And so that gives us the Dexter uh, Easy Flex equalizer in the middle here. Our KYB gas shocks, as you can see our off-road tires here. So these things are ready to go, but definitely this isn't how most trailers look underneath. Northwood does a very, very fine job. All right, guys, let's let's go uh, check out the rest of this thing. All right, now that we took a look at the underneath of this coach, let's take a look at everything else. So, pretty standard entry door assist handle. Nothing too fancy there. Nice though. You have standard steel triple steps. Still a very good operation on that. Dry lube on that. Easier does keep that functioning nice and easy though. Nice graphics package from Northwood. Uh, we do take thermal pane windows on all of our Nashes, so insulated windows. Our fresh water fill, and this is a 50 gallon fresh water tank, uh, so pretty good sized tank. We have 15 inch wheels on this, and those are the OTG off the grid wheels, off road tires. Our suburban furnace exhaust, backside of our refrigerator vent over here. And we got this big boy of a water heater, too. This thing is a 10 gallon, come on now. Oh. There we go, 10 gallon uh, suburban water heater on this. Most travel trailers have a six gallon water heater on them. This one is a 10, so definitely a pretty good uh, pretty good upgrade. Allow you to extend that shower by a little ways, so that is always nice. We have outside speakers. A LED lit power uh, awning on this, and this does have adjustable pitch hardware. So you can adjust that down, the rain runoff, uh, maybe you want to adjust the shade a little bit depending on where the sun's hitting you guys. Uh, we do have another entrance on this coach, this is a two door. So you can access up to the bedroom on the 26 and travel trailer. I think it's kind of a nice feature that if you want to maybe quickly get to, to the bedroom, quickly get to the bathroom. And the bathroom is right here that does give you another option opposed to going through the entire coach on this one so on the pass-through storage we do have these inch thick insulated doors and they are magnetic catches nice automotive grade bulb seal there and some pretty good exterior storage on here so Come on in here, camera guy. So you can check out, uh, we do have a battery disconnect switch on this unit um, that will shut down the power on things. Coming around to the front, got a few different lights. Got a little uh, 
pitch hookup light here. Part of the off the grid package does give us the uh, Stromberg uh, LP uh, rack up here, LP generator rack. So you could either mount a generator on here, you could maybe put some coolers up there. Um, you could do a few different things. It just adds some nice, nice storage up there. So with that rack, it, you do have to go to a soft propane cover. So we do have a soft cover over two 40 pound propane tanks. That's also part of that off the grid package. So we've got a nice, uh, super tall power tongue jack. And it's kind of kind of cute. They got these little built-in chain holders, uh, safety chain holders, and a seven-way holder there too. I think that's kind of cool. So let's come on here on the inside. Nicely inset to the integrated day frame. A nice little inset battery rack. And we can get two 24 group batteries. Possibly 31 group batteries might fit in here also. You can never really have too much. We always do too batteries here. So over here, even though we have some rough mounted solar that we're going to explore in a little bit, you could do a portable ZAMP uh, solar panel on here and plug into this factory port right here. So the thing that's pretty awesome about the Nash travel trailer line is you don't see too many manufacturers do, is this is prepped, wired, boxed, ready for a built-in generator. A unit this size, you could do a 3600 propane generator on this outfit, and we do keep those in stock most of the time. So very, very nicely done. So if you did want to hit that button from the inside, have power to go, this thing's ready for it. Most floor plans, most manufacturers don't have these nice built-in box uh, prepped, ready to go compartments. So pretty sweet. So we have, our uh, city water connection, black tank flush, nice uh, labeled uh, for the dump valve. So we got our black waste valve here. And the cool thing about Northwood that sets them apart from other manufacturers is uh, all of their stuff, they have uh, direct pull uh, dump valves and they go right through the frame. So a lot of manufacturers use uh, cable valves. These and those cables can stretch in time, these are straight pull rods through the frame. Hopefully you can see that operation. And with that too, as we mentioned when we were under the trailer a little bit ago, uh, that dump valve is enclosed into that heated via the furnace uh, holding tank compartment. Got our exit there, and a nice little LED light so you can see what's going on at night. An outside shower, satellite ready, cable ready gray water tank there. Got a nice little built-in storage here. It's kind of tall and skinny. About the best thing I could describe if you broke down your fishing rod, uh, you could place a few fishing rods in here pretty easily. You probably need to do some little holders to hold them in place, but that'd probably be a great place to put those. All right, let's go around the back here. So this actually does have the built-in compartment for the power cord. A lot of units today are doing the shore power cord. The nice thing about this is you don't have to find a place for that power cord to go, like in an outside compartment in a, or under your bed. You just stuff this 25 feet of 30 amp power cord all up into this nice little compartment and it's good to go. And the other thing I think is cool too when you get to where you're going and you plug into the park, we'll shut this little hatch door and find my little uh, master key here. Okay, so you can shut and lock that so people can't mess with it and it's nice and clean and you're plugged into power. So coming around the back side, they got the Northwood fat ladder on there. So a nice big thick ladder and does have a two inch receiver hitch. Now, Northwood, nor do we advise people tandem tow with a travel trailer, but you do have a two inch receiver hitch that gives you tons of options for accessory racks, bicycle racks, etc. So, a lot of good options there. Depending on what you do here, 
we can always adjust this spare tire carrier too. We can maybe slide that over to make way for stuff that you want to do in the center. Something we didn't touch on in the front, also part of this off the grid package, does give you those LED light bars on the front and back of this coach. All right, let's go check out the solar package on the roof of this thing. All right, guys, we are rooftop on the Nash 26N. A few things I want to cover. So we have talked about the off the grid package on this unit. A few of those options on the company, that package is an 11K Power Saver Coleman Mach air conditioner. So that pulls just a little bit less juice. And then we, down here, we have this, what they call flex guard uh, awning protector. So you see that black, uh, black right there, that is basically a, kind of a harder surface that protects the awning when it's all rolled in. And so that's the spot that always gets sunbaked on the awning. This flex guard protector is gonna protect that fabric while the awning is rolled up in, which is obviously most of the time. So that's going to extend the life of your awning. So here we are rooftop on Northwood's uh, roof system. Uh, they do a super good job at building super strong roofs. A lot of trailers you wouldn't even want to walk on the roof of, let alone walk on the slide outs of these units. And if you do, you hear creaks and cracks and things that you shouldn't hear. Northwood builds a very strong roof system, and below this uh, system, they have uh, R14 batten insulation with a layer of R15 uh, reflective foil in the roof. So, uh, kind of helps hold all that heat in. So we have uh, Max Air, uh, big Max Air vent covers in each of the vents, and we'll take a look at those once we get on the inside. But with that, we do get some covers on those as well. Our wine guard, wine guard, excuse me, Air 360 TV antenna. Nice little skylight. And up here with our solar package. Whoa. So we have a 45 watt ZAMP solar panel that's standard on this unit. And with that off the grid package, that does give us the 170 solar panel and that all runs in through the 30 amp controller on the inside and if that's not enough for you we can add more to that all right before I fall off the roof of this thing let's go check out the inside all right guys let's check out the inside of this Nash so this is a rear living Nash, so at the back here we have a nice little sofa. We have little cabinets on each side with a shelf in each of them. One over here on this side. Just one shelf foot in there. We have one tin plug on that one at the bottom. For a little additional storage, when I say little, I mean a lot. You got a ton of storage below there. And then this does jackknife down. Now this is not going to suit everybody. Oh, but actually that isn't too bad. So if you turn sideways, or if you're going up like that and you don't mind, maybe get a pillow here to kind of, so you didn't hit your head, maybe that wouldn't be so bad. So maybe put one next to you there. Be a little tight, but it's an option. So makes a could, it could allow for a little additional sleeping room so the Nash does uh, in-floor heat and for any of you that have ever had that you definitely feel the difference on those cold mornings uh, having that in-floor heat opposed to coming out of the side of cabinets so I definitely always like that so let's see over here we got a very sizable storage we have all of our switches over here for Northwood. Um, our, our light bar uh, lights on the front and back, awning lights, uh, entry lights, slide switch, power awning. And if you do, again, want to do that built-in Onan 3600 generator, 
we got the start switch hour meter all in here ready to go up here on the roof we got that 30 amp controller i was telling you about when we were rooftop all right so over here we have our booth dinette and this will also obviously make into a sleeping surface and i'm going to show you that in just a minute but i want to show you the depth of these drawers these drawers are insane you could uh you could put some things into those and they're actually pretty pretty solid drawers too northwood builds all their cabinetry in-house so they they do a nice job of this all right let's check out and see how this table goes down real quick Woo! okay that was pretty quick um, so very nice very quick uh, sleeping area here I want to show you something here too that you're not going to see most manufacturers do Northwood is very resourceful and so they'll use stuff uh, from other parts of their build um, I want to show you guys so these are just basically just obviously the bottom of your seat bottoms and into your um, sliding uh, drawer storage there but if you look at this this is the sidewall of the trailer. So we have our hard phylon surface here on the outside. We got our lamination, which laminates the wood, the foam block insulation, which that's a great way to insulate a sidewall just because it's very dense, it's very thick, and it's very consistent. And then here on the inside, we have our interior wall, which looks like the rest of these in interior walls. So this is a very, very solid, very solid piece. It really shows you the uh, kind of the strength of, uh, of Northwood units. So just wanted to point that out real quickly. Okay, so let's keep checking this thing out. So a nice little pantry, three different areas there and a little not as long as the drawers of the booth, but still pretty good size. We got our entertainment center. Uh, that is a 32 inch uh, 12 volt LED TV, AM FM radio, um, and that will play DVDs and CDs. A lot of manufacturers have gone away from that, but you can still get it in a unit from Northwood, whether it's a Nash like this or an Arctic Fox. And of course it is Bluetooth. Uh, which is nice for today's modern music playing stuff. All right, let's check out the drawers below here on this side. I like the character that they put into their cabinetry that they build in-house. Got the nice little knots, like actual knots into the wood. Kind of adds a little, uh, little, uh, little character, little nature into it. So these are nice and deep. And this one's a little shallow, but it's still pretty, pretty long. Okay, coming up around here. Look in here, this big guy here. So underneath here, got a little storage. You can see all your drawers in front of you, but super easy access to your SureFlow water pump and your line to uh, suck the antifreeze to winterize your unit. So nice and easy access. Nice little stainless steel 50-50 sink, nothing too earth shattering there. Decent cabinets out here. Over here. Northwood, like Jayco, puts a lot of different uh, vents for the air conditioning throughout this unit. And so you can adjust the, the direction of the airflow and you can shut it down. So we've got our Furion cooking suite here. So Pretty, pretty conventional RV microwave. I have a nice glass folding cooktop. Got the butcher knife holder back here. So that's kind of nice. You can keep those things all where you need them. And of course I love about our Furion cooktop. It's got the indicators of when that gas is on or the, the fire is on. So definitely pretty slick there. And if you're into saving power, you can shut that feature off as well. I'd say with the, the solar up on the roof, I'd let I'd, I'd let it burn, burn away. You got power to go. We have a Norfold gas electric. Hit the little uh, little doorstop there. 
We got a Norcold gas electric refrigerator. And this one is a, a seven, seven cubic foot. So bigger than the average. And we have our pantry over here. I kind of like that they do kind of like a wardrobe and a pantry. Some units and some floor plans you're compromising of, hey, this could double as the pantry and the wardrobe, but in this 26N, you get uh, both. All right, let's see what's behind door number one. Okay, it's a bedroom. All right, so into the bedroom, we have our garden shower with glass doors. Classic Northwood, but it's very nice. So a little bit of a high step up going in, but once you're up in this thing, you have a ton of working room in here. A lot of good height uh, up to the top. Kind of a small shower head, but you can, those can be changed out, but that will get the job done for sure. I kind of like too though, that they have like a little space here for setting things. You always either have shampoo or razors or this or that. So I think that's kind of nice. All right, on over to our medicine cabinet. I think this is a little taller than what you see in most units, so that's pretty nice. And down here, got two different shelves down below. Now over here, you got a switch for the commode closet or the bathroom. Um, so you can have the light on or off, you know, as you're going in, going out. And of course that's gonna be double switched, so you can also shut it off uh, from in here. So uh, classic commode closet. I think it's kind of nice having separation so two people can be kind of getting stuff done at the same time. And you can enjoy a nice little view. We've got more storage up top here. I don't know if you can see that very good, but nice little storage. And again, all, all of the vents in these, which is three different vents, all have the uh, fantastic fans in them as well. So those things can move a ton of air. All right, over to the bed area. I wanna start up top and, and have you take a look at this crown. So if this surface is flat right here, you can see the amount of crown Northwood puts into their roof line. You know, they really do that for a lot of things. It gives you more interior height than the unit. As you can see, we have a lot of room before my head hits the ceiling, which I'm six foot three. And then they also do it for runoff on the top when you have more of a curve, it helps water snow runoff. Um, and they're still able to get that um, R14 batten insulation with that layer of R15 astrofoil in the roof of this, even with that high arch. So let's take a look here and see what's going on. We have a nice little wardrobe with three different shelves. Big old long drawer uh, below there. I like how they give you just a little bit of a nightstand here. So you got a place to set your stuff. Let's go check a look over here. And this one, we got shelves over in this one as well, but these are removable shelves. So you could do more hanging stuff over here if you wanted. And you still get that big old long drawer over here with a little built-in nightstand. So this one's got a, uh, a built-in uh, remote with this uh, fantastic fan. So we can set this in an auto setting, set it to a certain temperature, and that will help maintain the temperature in this room just based on that fan up here. And it's also a rain sensing fan also. So if you have that up and it starts raining, that fan's gonna shut off and the lid's gonna come down on its own. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so we have 110 plugs on both sides of the bed. And then if you come up here, we have USBs on each side of the bed. So now we don't have his and hers reading lights but if you really deem that as something that was important they do really crazy good things with those stick-on uh, led lights 
that you could very easily mount those um, up there if you really did want those individual reading lamps. Let's take a look below. So Northwood's one of few manufacturers that actually puts a really nice mattress in it. Odds are you're probably not going to throw this one away like most uh, manufacturers mattresses. And then beneath here uh, you have a decent amount of storage. You know, you don't get the full amount of the bed because you got that exterior storage on there, but you do get a decent amount. Anyway, guys, this has been the Nash uh, 26N. This is a 2023 model. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. If there's something I missed that you maybe want to see, please comment below and I'll be happy to, to look it up for you. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, subscribe and uh, you'll see plenty more to come. So thank you guys for watching. Again, I'm Cassidy. We're Smith RV in Casper, Wyoming. Have a great day.